Hello everybody, welcome to Totally Tabled. My name is Shaggy, and today I'm doing a full solo playthrough of Resist. In this solitaire card game, we take the role of Spanish Maquis battling against the Francoist dictatorial regime after the Spanish Civil War. Now I have the game all set up and ready to go. You want to take the mission cards, separate them by era, then randomly select three era three mission cards, shuffle them and place them in a face down deck. Next, randomly select three era two cards, shuffle those and place them on top. And then lastly, randomly select four era one cards and place them face up on the table in a line. Shuffle the deck of enemy cards. Place a number of face down enemy cards on each mission based on the number in the card icon on the mission card. For example, we need four enemies at the intercept the commanding officer mission. Then shuffle all 24 Maquis cards. For your first game, select 12 randomly to place in a deck to the left hand side of your table. This is your hidden Maquis deck. These are the cards you'll draw from and play throughout the course of the game. Place the other 12 cards in the Recruit deck. These are the Maquis that might be available to add to your hidden deck at some point, but for right now, you don't have access to them. You want to take three of the six Spy cards and shuffle them into the hidden deck. Place the other three Spies off to the side, you might need them later. After your first game, you can draft your Maquis deck by randomly drawing two cards at a time, placing one in your hidden deck and the other in your recruit deck. And you just continue that process until you have all 24 Maquis separated into two decks. Remember that you need to shuffle three spies into your hidden deck just as before. And I actually went through that process off screen to create my deck for this play. Lastly, you just want to shuffle up your citizen deck and put it off to the side. And now we're ready to begin. As always, I'm going to explain the rules as I go. So let's just jump right in and get started by drawing our initial hand of five Maki cards. We begin each round in the planning phase. Here we get to play as many cards from our hand as we want and activate their planning abilities. Each character has special abilities that will either be useful in the planning phase or in the attack phase. Now looking over my characters here, I only have Pilar here that has a planning ability. So I say, let's go ahead and play her. Anytime you play a character, you have to decide whether you want to keep them hidden, in which case you'll play them to the left side of your tableau, or if you want to reveal them, in which case you'll play to the right side. And you can see on the card, they have a hidden side where they have a unique special ability and an attack value. And they have a revealed side, which with another special ability and a different attack value. Usually their revealed side is more powerful because at the end of the round, any revealed characters will be discarded into a revealed discard pile, and they will not be available for the rest of the game. They'll be out of the game, essentially, unless you have a special ability that brings them back into play. However, if you keep them hidden, they go into your hidden discard pile, and they will get shuffled back in throughout the game. So you get to reuse them uh, throughout the game. So we want to keep as many characters hidden as we can. For now, I think we will keep Pilar hidden, so we'll play on the left side of the board. And we'll get to use the left ability here. It says plan, flip one or two face down enemies at one mission face up and then discard one of them. Well, as you can see here, we have four available missions. We're gonna be picking one of these to go on and trying to resolve. Each of these missions has a number of enemies at them. They also have a defense value in the little symbol there in the shield symbol. For instance, destroying the barracks has a defense value of four. In order to successfully complete this mission, we're gonna need an attack value from all of our Maquis equal or greater than four. Now, because I've kept Pilar hidden, she is not contributing any attack value. We might be a little weak this turn, so I'm not sure that we want to try to go after these more difficult missions. If you look here, destroy the railroad bridge, that has a defense value of eight. I don't think we're gonna be able to get there. Likewise, intercept the commanding officer, defense value of six. I think I'm probably most interested in destroying the barracks this turn. So why don't we use her special ability here? We get to flip 
one or two face down enemies face up and then we can discard one of them. Looks like we uncovered a grunt and a counter gorilla. So you can see here they both have their own defense values. The grunt has a defense value of two and the counter gorilla defense value of three. And they also have their own special abilities. The counter gorilla's special ability says survive, which means that if they survive at the end of the round, that's when that special ability will go off. The grunt, however, has a defend special ability, which means that it happens immediately. It says that you have to defeat all grunts before you can defeat any other enemies. So if we wanted to use some of our attack power to take out that counter gorilla, we'd have to take out the grunt first. I think that's fine. I'm not too worried about that. I say, let's go ahead and discard this counter gorilla. You just place it in the discard pile. And there we go. We've used that planning ability. Now, because we don't have any other planning abilities on our cards, I think we are done with the planning phase. So that means we need to pick one of these missions to try to resolve. And we could pick any of them. We don't have to pick Destroy the Barracks, but I think that's the one that I want to go after. So after you've picked a mission, you reveal all the enemies that are there. Oh, we had another counter gorilla. That's unfortunate. And now we're going to go into the attack phase. In this phase, we're going to play all of our cards. You always play all of your Maquis. Now the Spy, we don't play. That's just clogging up our hand. But we're going to get to play all of our other Maquis. We have to. And we're either going to play them each to the hidden side or to the revealed side. And we'll get to use, if we want, any attack abilities that may result. We also want to look at the special ability of the mission. And right here it says defeat. Add a face down enemy to all other missions. So if we defeat this mission, that's when that special ability will go off. Now here's the thing, we don't have to defeat these enemies. As long as we have four attack value from our characters, we can just attack this mission, defeat the mission, and leave the enemies alone. The problem is because we have this counter gorilla here, if we don't take him out, then his special ability is going to resolve, which is we're gonna have to draw a card from the civilian deck and place it face up in the graveyard. That means that some civilians have been killed. And if five civilians are ever killed, we lose the game. Unfortunately, in order to take out the counter gorilla, we're gonna need to take out the grunt first. So that means we would need nine attack in order to defeat everything that's here. And we simply just don't have that left. What we do have is Soledad's revealed ability which says discard all counter gorillas at this mission. So if we played her, revealed her, we would get one attack strength and we would get to get rid of that counter gorilla right away. I feel like that is something that I want to do. So we're gonna play her to the revealed side, use the attack ability to take out the counter gorilla. Now we don't really have to worry about that grunt at all. So I think we can just play our other Maquis to their hidden side, and then we're done. Now we get to assign our attack damage to these various different targets. And as you can see here, we have two, four, five. We have five attack damage here. So I think we're gonna ignore the grunt. We're just gonna put four of it into defeating this mission. By defeating this mission, we're gonna get two victory points. And because it has a defeat condition on it, we're going to resolve that now, which means we're just going to add a face down enemy to our other three missions. This seems like a good time to do that since we have era one missions and the missions are only going to get harder. So we're going to put this over here into our completed pile. Any survive abilities would trigger right now, but this grunt doesn't have one, so we just discard it. At this point, we're gonna check to see if we've lost the game. <laughs> if we had five or more civilian casualties in the graveyard, we would lose the game at this point. But we managed to protect the civilians, so we're good. Also, if we had failed two missions at this point, we would also lose the game. So you can fail one mission, but if you fail that second mission, you've lost the game, game over. 
Since we succeeded in the mission, we get to draw a new one out. We got Jailbreak at the Prison. You can see here it's getting five enemies. That's not good. It's got a defense value of eight. It's going to be worth three victory points, and it's got a defeat condition which says draw a card from the recruit deck and place it into your hidden discard pile. So that one's going to have a positive effect when we defeat it. That's fantastic. Now at this point, we could decide whether or not we want to end the resistance. We can basically say, we don't think we're going to be able to survive another round, so we're going to end the game right now. And then you would just add up your victory points, and there is a table to see how successful you have been. If you can defeat all 10 missions and you get the best victory, but you can see here, anything over 14 victory points is considered some sort of victory. 15 to 18, you have a little minor victory. 19 to 21, you have a regular victory. And anything 22 plus is a major victory. So that's going to be a decision that we're going to have to make later in the game, but not right now. We're just going to continue on. So at this point, we're going to do a little bit of cleanup, end of round cleanup. We take the Maquis that we've played. Anything that we've played in our hidden area go into our hidden discard pile. Once our hidden deck is depleted, we'll shuffle up our hidden discard pile and it'll become the new deck. So everything in our hidden area is going to keep getting reused and reused. But our revealed character goes into our revealed discard pile. They're not going to come out again unless we have some ability that lets us get them. Also, the spy goes into our hidden pile. They're going to keep coming up as well. We then get to draw our new hand of five cards. Ooh, and look at this, no spies. Remember, we started with three spies, so that means we know that there's two spies in that deck. We're gonna have a little bit of a weaker hand next time, but this time we have the potential to maybe take on something a little bit more serious. At this point, we would also check if, if our entire hand here were only spies, we would also lose the game. That's another <laughs> loss condition. But we got just the opposite, so that's cool. And there we go. That was one round of play. Okay, we have some major decisions to make right out of the gate. I think I want to start the planning phase by revealing Carlos and using his planning ability to draw two cards from the hidden deck. The main reason I want to do that is I don't want to go into the next round knowing that there's going to be two spies. That seems like that could be a really difficult round, so maybe I can expose some of the spies now when it'll be a little less harmful. So let's see what we get. Okay, we have Adela and a spy. Okay, perfect. That is exactly what I was hoping for. Now we have a much better chance of going into the next round with just one spy, and that is manageable. So now we have a couple of different ways that we could go. We know we want to tackle one of these more difficult missions since we have so much power here. The problem is eight is a lot. I think we're gonna have to reveal Nicholas here to get that four power. I'm really thinking Manuel, his plan ability he can stay hidden and then he could flip all enemies at one mission. Having that kind of knowledge would be very helpful. Yeah, I think, I think we want to do that. We could use him to remove this spy and that is really powerful, but I would like to keep him in the game. I'm not really ready to reveal him yet. And I say, let's flip all five of these here at this jailbreak at the prison. And let's just see what we're dealing with. Okay, that military, oh man, he would make us remove one of our Maquis that was hidden from the game if he survives. So that's not good. Okay, we have a guard that is basically defending the mission. We have to take care of the guard before we can defeat the mission. That's, that's not good. Spy Master, if he survives, he adds another spy into our hidden pile. Also not good. Radio operator, if they survive, 
Place a face down enemy on all other missions. And then a grunt, which is defending the other enemies. Ooh, that's a lot of bad stuff there. I tell you what, Domingo here, I think I also want to keep him hidden and use his plan ability. That is flip one or two face down enemies at one mission face up and then discard one of them. And I think I want to move over here to this destroy the railroad bridge. Let's flip these two and discard one. Okay, we have a counter gorilla. We know what they do. Ooh, the jailer is interesting. If we defeat it, then we get to add a recruit. So it doesn't do anything negative if we ignore it. I like that. Let's go ahead and get rid of this counter gorilla. We want to keep the citizens safe if we can. Right now we have four strength. Nicholas could give us four. That would be eight. Emilio here has a really interesting ability too, which would let us copy a hidden action. So we could flip all the enemies here at this intercept the commanding officer. That would be useful. Or we could do this again and maybe remove some enemies from here or here. Yeah, I'd hate to reveal him this early. And he's not contributing anything. Yeah, I think, I think we want to do this. Ah, flip two and remove one is so good. Let's do that here. Let's just make sure we absolutely crush this one. Ooh, spy master and military. Oh boy, we're either going to be adding a spy or removing a random hidden. Well, let's take out the spy master. So we basically just copied Dominique's ability there. Yeah, okay. I think I think we're done with the planning phase and we are going to choose this mission. We're just going to knock this one out of the park. We can now do attack abilities and play all of our cards. We're going to use her and we can move an enemy away to a different mission. Let's just move this military and I think, ugh, let's move it to here. I think we may be avoiding this mission altogether and then we'll reveal Nicholas for his four strength. So we have six, seven, eight, nine power. That's eight. We can't deal with the jailer, so we can't get that ability but we at least defeat this mission. We destroy the railroad bridge. And in doing so, we get this ability, which is we can discard an enemy face up or face down from another mission. Let's just go ahead and remove a random one for this one. It was a guard. So we've made that a little bit easier. Yeah, we can't take out the jailer, so it survives. Nothing happens. But we get this two points, so we're on four victory points. We haven't lost the game. Reveal the next mission. This is attack the counter gorilla headquarters. It needs four enemies. We are not going to end the resistance. We are going strong. We're going to draw our next hand. We know there's going to be at least one spy. And because we run out, we take our hidden discard. We shuffle it. And we'll draw two more. And hopefully it won't be a spy. And really hopefully it won't be two spies. <laughs> okay. It's not going to be two spies. Oh, it is going to be two spies. Okay. So we tried to avoid having two spies in our hand, but didn't quite do it. That's a shame. Okay, I'm feeling like we might be in a little bit of trouble here. I think we need to reveal Jaquinto here. His power is we can discard one of our Maquis, not the spies, but one of our Maquis, to draw two cards from the hidden deck. I think I'm going to discard her. Her special ability is really good, but she doesn't have the power, the attack, and I think we're going to need it this round. So I'm going to discard her, and we get to draw two more. Okay. Thank goodness we didn't draw another spy. If we played Manuel on the revealed side, that would give us the five that we need. We'd be very vulnerable to whatever's out there. We'd have just enough to defeat this, but we could be getting all sorts of attacks. Knowing what we have up there would be useful. 
We could play Manuel for his planning, keep him hidden, and reveal all those cards. See what we're working with. Okay, that seems like a good plan. So we get to flip all enemies at one mission face up. Okay, that is a shame. We have two guards that are protecting this mission. So we have to defeat the guards before we could defeat this mission. And that's five strength. So we would need 10 strength to be able to take on those guards and this mission. And we just are nowhere close to that. There's also that military that would basically kill one of our hidden Maquis. At this point, we have four strength, five, six, seven. Seven is the most that we could even get to. I mean, we could do that and just try to come over here. Let me put her up there so we don't get confused. Well, he could remove one enemy from this mission. Oh no, but we'd have to remove one. We could only get to six. Oh, this is not gonna work. Okay, I think we're gonna have to, um, we're gonna have to take a risk here. We're gonna end the planning phase, and I think we're gonna attempt this mission over here. This is a surefire failure. Here, we could get lucky. So we're gonna try to intercept the commanding officer. And it looks like it worked out for us in an amazing way. <laughs> this is incredible luck. Incredible luck. We now can play out our attackers. We're gonna reveal Adela and her ability is to discard all counter gorillas from this mission. And we have three of them there. Amazing, absolutely amazing. And that grunt is basically doing nothing. We can ignore that grunt, which means we have four, five. So we do have to still reveal Emilio in order to get to that six. Unfortunately, I was thinking we could maybe hold on to him, but it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to do that. So we have to reveal him. We can discard one enemy from this mission. We didn't have to, but we will. And that gets us the power that we need to defeat that mission right there. And look at that. Remove one spy in your hand from the game. That's the defeat condition. That spy goes away. We get this point. New mission. Five enemies. That is destroy the supply convoy. So we had to reveal a bunch of our Maquis there, but we survived. I'm gonna draw up. Okay, there we go. And we're ready for another round. Okay, so right now I'm looking at this. This mission right here, Attack the Counter Gorilla Headquarters. It has a very bad defeat condition, which is once you defeat this mission, for every undefeated enemy, you're gonna draw a card from the civilian deck and place it in the graveyard. That's pretty brutal. So I think what I wanna do is use her special ability. We're gonna reveal her. We get two attack and we get to ignore that, which is fantastic. We can just focus on defeating this and hopefully get those four points because right now we have five points. And again, that magic number is 15 for a minor victory. So at the bare minimum, we wanna to try to get there. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Now the question is, Oh yeah, actually I do want to use Domingo's plan ability here, I think. Because I think we can keep the rest of the three hidden. That'd be five, six, seven. That'll be the seven that we need. Now that's cutting it a little close. If there's any guards up here, that would be that would be disastrous. But we'd have these two attacks. So I still think we want to do this no matter what. So we're gonna use his plan ability, keep him hidden. We can flip two face down enemies and then discard one of them. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Two, sp <laughs> two spy masters. All right. We'll get rid of the worst one there. I think we're done with our planning phase, so we'll reveal. Okay, a grunt and a military. Don't like that military guy, but he's only a one defense, and the grunt's a one. So if we could get to nine, we could take care of both of those. We'd be leaving the spy master. We could use Consuelo, reveal her. That would let us discard the spy master, and then she would get the three defense as an attack. So that would give her three. That's five, six, seven, eight. We would need nine in order to take out that military. So that doesn't get us there. Of course, we could just discard the military, just get the one. That'd be three, four, five, six, and then that wouldn't be enough to defeat the thing. So revealing Consuelo doesn't make sense. We could draw two from the hidden deck. Okay, I think that sounds like maybe our best course of action. Because if that, if that military goes off, then we're gonna lose Domingo. Reveal her and we'll get to draw two. Now we're shuffling, so we'll at least get somebody. We only have three cards. One of them's a spy. Okay. Ooh, okay, we didn't draw the spy. Yeah, the current problem we have is because we it'd be great to not have to reveal anybody else. If we do that though, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That would be enough, and then we just have a spy master and we'd add another spy. I think that's I think that's maybe our best bet. Let's do it. We're just gonna keep everyone else hidden. We don't get to do any of their special abilities because they were for the planning phase. And remember, you have to play all of your Maquis. You can't save any over for other rounds. So you have to play everybody. And I say, boom, we just do that. We now have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll take out these two and the mission. We don't have to. We can ignore the uh, defeat condition there because of a uh, pillar. We get those four points. The spy master survived, so another spy comes in. Gonna discard our hiddens. They were revealed. Four enemies. I'm gonna have to shuffle up the enemy deck. This is defend the farmhouse. Another four victory points. We're in kind of a tough position here because we have nine points. To get to 15, we need six. So a four and a two would do it. Okay, we haven't lost and we're gonna keep going. So that's a spy and now there's two more spies in here. This is where things get a little bit hairy. <laughs> We're gonna shuffle up. Two. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, this is where we might have just lost. Now we could have anticipated this and said, you know what, we're quitting because we think we're gonna lose in the next round. And you would just get your score, nine points, and it would have been technically a draw. We wouldn't have actually lost the game. But we decided to keep going. We didn't get a spy loss because we didn't get all five spies, but uh, we got close. And here we go. Let's see if we can survive this one. We will reveal everything here. Right, so we'll do a little planning. Reveal all enemies at one mission. Let's see what we got going on over here. Okay, we've seen all these cards before, except for the Engineer. We got two of those, and they're increasing the defense of all other enemies at this location by one. So each of them has a plus two on their defense. And of course, you have to defeat the Grunt before you would defeat any of the other ones. So that's a Grunt of four. We simply don't have the strength here to defeat any of these missions. So just for fun, 
I think we'll use Manuel, reveal him, and we could do this in the plan or the attack phase, but we're just going to remove one spy. Get a couple less spies in our ranks. And let's go ahead and try to do this. We obviously don't have enough strength. We only have three. We would have to remove a Maquis from our hand if we had any left, but we played them all, so we don't have to do that. But we're not going to be able to defeat this mission, so we're going to fail the mission. And in fact, with three strength, we can't even get rid of this military. So again, we'll just take out a guard for fun. When you fail a mission, you flip it face down. And that's going to be a space that we can't add missions to. We now are only going to have three available missions. And again, if you were to fail two missions, you lose the game. Because this military survived, they are going to get rid of one of our hidden Maquis in play. We only have one. We're actually going to be removing this from the game. Manuel goes into our revealed discard pile. And now you can see that the resistance is pretty much over at this point. We have two other cards. Moving forward at this, at this point would just be pointless. There's no way we're going to be able to defeat any of these. So at this point, we can end the resistance to avoid a loss. We would then check our points here. We have nine. So we just, it was a draw. We fought valiantly, but we're unable to achieve any major victories in the battle against Franco's forces. We had an outside chance there if we had drew these guys. We had a chance. We had a possibility. We probably could have taken this out, but I don't think we were getting to 15 for a, for a minor victory. So I should also point out that there is a scenario book with alternative ways to play. Eight different scenarios, which have different sort of setups, a few extra rules. And there's even this historic campaign, Liberation of Spain, which are three linked scenarios that you play in order. So there are a few different ways to play the game, but there you go. This has been a complete game of Resist. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.